But my friends, there's also another story we have where we can talk about what you get when you vote for the likes of Bernie Sanders or not so much Bernie, but those who would push policies like Bernie. Take a look at this here image. Why we got good old Bernie Sanders. Oh, and he's he's sitting he's sitting in a little chair and he's got these big old mittens on. And this this photo became a very viral meme. It is Bernie Sanders at the inauguration. He's kind of just like, okay, was it over with? And a lot of people mentioned those mittens were just so awesome. Oh my god. Amazing mittens, right? Right, Ian? You saw yeah, the they mittens? were they were beautiful. Beautiful yeah. mittens. Right. What if what, what if I were to tell you that you will never be able to get those mittens? <gasps> You fascist. No. <laughs> Socialist. You know why? Why? The woman who made those mittens went out of business because the taxes were too high and it destroyed her business. Wow. Ironic. Yeah. What? Yep. So the story ironic. from The Federalist. Woman behind Bernie Sanders' iconic mittens quit making them because high taxes killed her business. How ironic. Yep. <laughs> that, that happened. Yeah. It's like a fire truck on fire. Yep. The guy who advocates for higher taxes is wearing the mittens of someone who can't make them anymore because taxes destroyed her business. I'd like to give a round of applause again. You know, look, there's there's an appropriate middle ground, there's negotiations, and there's there's a way to move forward. But I think we see too much on the left is zealotry. Zealotry in the sense where it's like, we didn't plan this, we don't know what the results will be, but we really believe it to be true, so we're going to do it anyway. And so then you get this. Federalist says the Vermont school teacher who made Bernie Sanders mittens featured in the most recent viral meme said she had to stop making them after the federal government taxed her too much. People have been contacting me thinking they can get mittens and actually they can't. I don't have any more. I don't have much of a mitten business anymore because it really wasn't worth it. Aww. Jen Ellis explained to Slate, independent crafters get really taken for a ride by the federal government. We get taxed to the nth degree and it really it wasn't really worth it pursuing that as a business even as a side hustle. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, wow. Not even Talk a about side hustle. a punch in the gut. Seriously. You know, we've, we've talked about it a lot. A lot of conservatives do, free market capitalist types. If you tax people too much, there's no incentive to actually do anything. Why do it? Yep. What do you get? I'm kinda, I kind of live that life, man. I'm just skating right now because I don't want to deal with it. The taxes? Yeah. The whole system is so annoying. They just want to take, take, take regulate this regulate that like the paperwork i mean i guess you will hire someone else to do that stuff for you yeah. which is great i guess if you get to that point maybe but you still got to pay attention if someone's handling your finances it's their finances so you still have to maintain your finances yep that's a good lesson that kanye west talks about he's his own c uh coo or mm -hmm. cfo cool well, yeah you get well, many people make the argument that taxes are, are all about controlling and keeping people in line. And how can you not believe that when the government literally prints money? But yet we're still supposed to be given a portion of our income if we could still magically earn it. If 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 immigration didn't take it, if overseas visas didn't take it, we somehow magically are able to sustain for ourselves. And, and we still have to give a huge cut to the government that that is going to spend it on most likely war. I mean, <laughs> I, like, are you kidding me? You see, uh, look, look, when we talk about taxes, the left and the left and the right usually have the wrong conversation. I love the who will build the roads conversation with libertarians, right? So, so a lot of people on the left, when talking with ANCAPs and libertarians say, but, but, but who will pay for the roads? And then you actually get an argument. And the libertarians will say, it's going to be a private company who maintains the roads and maybe there will be a toll. And I'm sitting there going like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Let me, let me ask you the real question. Who's going to bomb the kids? Who's going who's gonna to blow the kids up? Yeah, yeah. Oh, guess what? Nobody. Oh, because man. there's no incentive in any market to do it. I'm not a laissez-faire capitalist, mind you. Okay? You know, I, I think there's problems with <clears throat> overgrowth of monopolies and monopolistic power. And I, I know a lot of people in the Super Chats often disagree. But I will tell you one thing. The question should be not who will build the roads. I'll tell you this. I will take no road. You can give me dirt. I will crawl through rocks if it means we're not paying for the blowing up of people in foreign countries. Which I don't like. Yeah, I'll gladly take an off-road vehicle if it means not having roads, if we're not going to be bombing the crap out of the Middle East and sending troops all over the entire world and threatening huge geopolitical conflicts with other world powers. Yes, I'll gladly do that in a heartbeat. And people need to understand that Michael Bloomberg, another kind of, uh, you know, Scrooge-like individual, <laughs> has, has made terrible. arguments that, that taxes and regulations are necessary for control of, of the populations in order to keep them in line. Lydia, you have That's something? Right. Yeah, so do you guys remember when Domino's Pizza decided to fix the potholes in the roads so they yeah. could deliver their pizzas better? Yeah. Like, there's who a will, private who will, company. Yeah. 
Fix Who will build roads. the roads? Literally Domino's Pizza roads. will. Yeah. What? No, they won't. They Apparently, did. They, sure they did. literally yeah. did. There was even an adult website that paved uh, the roads in the Northeast after a major snowstorm because the government was having wow. troubles doing it. That's cool. So, you know, there's there's a lot of stories of, of people coming to each other's needs, helping each other out without the involvement of a middleman. When you have a middleman, that's when you have government. When you have people solving each other's problems, working uh, with each other, bartering, trading, that's called anarchy. That's and you know, we have a lot of anarchy that no one really wants and to you know kind what, of admit. You know what really bothers me too? You know the government's not even really that good at blowing up kids? So <laughs> Private security yeah. forces are way better at killing <laughs> civilians. Well, they spend a lot of money on it, uh, especially when you look at the coffers, when you look at the budgets, when you see the trillions of dollars missing in the Pentagon, you're like, wait, wait, where did this money go? These other guys have flip-flops. These other guys have literal literal uh, cloth on that's not even made as, as proper clothing. And, and, you're, and they, they, if they're lucky, they have an AK. But, but we have to send hundreds of thousands of dollars at one missile to blow them up. Why? Somewhere thousands of thousands of miles away from us. Why? This doesn't make any sense. So I think this is a classic case of when you give people money, they will rise to meet whatever you will give them. Because yeah. I found this to be the case with military budgeting. So with the planes and stuff, they're like, well, we won't charge as much unless they'll pay this much. Yeah. Like Donald Trump found that the plane uh, makers would make planes for like one half the cost. They're like, well, we were just making planes because this is what they would give us. I'm like, that's capitalism for you. But at the same time, it's like if the government that's, subsidizes it, that's an issue. That's not capitalism. Right. When you it's, have it's like yeah, socialism. I, yeah. When the government says we're going to be, listen, you should think about money in terms of buying power and access to resources and not, you know, people think about money, think about a number, a hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, thousand dollars. No, no, no. Think about what you can get for it. If you make 15 bucks an hour, I don't care. I don't, I, I, I don't care. Listen, right now you got all these lefties saying we should get $15 an hour living wage. Okay, so here's what the government's done. You will get your raise. Quick print money to, to reduce their buying power so they don't actually get anything. If you can only buy, you know, let's say $15 buys you a pair of blue jeans and then they give you a raise of $15 an hour, but then increase the cost of blue jeans to 30 bucks. You didn't get a raise. You just think you did. And that's a brilliant way to keep people dumb and happy yeah well i got a big raise well there's a reason a lot of the top billionaires call for more taxes and more regulations because it kills and squeezes out their competitors anyone who's willing to compete against them anyone who could defeat them anyone who could overcome them is is burdened with all these other things that they have to deal with when these guys could just skate right through it it's no issue for them it's not a problem for them but everyone else is going to be struggling there's a, there's a picture of this pool and it's showing a little small business and it's showing an adult in there the adult is amazon it's all these other top big companies and then the little kids are are small businesses and it's a pool and they're drowning in it and the water yep. are, are regulations taxes. and taxes. Yes. Yep. So that's essentially what's happening now. And sadly, this poor lady, I mean, those mittens look, look pretty they're cool. Yeah. They, they look really nice. But but sadly, people are going to have to go to Amazon to get their Chinese made mittens by the Uyghur Muslim population, most likely, according to my own personal opinion. Uh, Do you ever, <laughs> you ever see those, incentivized. You ever see those things where like someone will buy a, a, a box of like, I don't know, combs and they open as a note saying, I'm trapped in a factory in China. Please save yeah. me. I have not seen no. that. Yeah. You've no. never seen those before? Oh gosh. Yeah. Because people working in the factories are essentially slaves and they'll write yeah. like, That's please terrible. save us. And they'll put it in the box hoping somebody gets it. There's yeah. news stories with pictures yeah. of that stuff. Yeah. But the yeah, current dude. system that we're living on leaves us no choice but to go to Amazon because there's no other place to potentially buy mittens made by the average person, the average human being, the average entrepreneur business. that is trying to make their way uh, in this really complex, really hard economically hit United it's States. It's so funny because I could make mittens and give them to you. But if I yeah. make mittens and sell them to you, mm -hmm. government's like, hey, I'll we want, we want 35% of that. Percent yeah. Of that. Yeah. Yeah. And on top of that, sales tax yep. <laughs> in yep. certain states. I mean, are, are you kidding me? Thanks for checking out this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. We do the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. So come back to check us out when we go live. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. And we are also available on all podcast platforms for free. If you want to listen to us there, thanks for hanging out. And we will see you all next time.